Hi, everybody. All right, this is one of my breast cancer journals. How is everyone? Uh, you, can, you can see me smiling under this mask. I have had a great weekend. I'll tell you guys about it. But right now, I'm at my uh, cancer and research center. My doctor says that my blood count, because uh, they have plummeted, my white blood cells have plummeted, so I had to get two shots. But she was saying that um, they are up now. And like I always tell you guys about the um, importance of keeping current blood work. So it's a situation where you're not getting too much. You know what I mean? You're not getting too much. Um, and so, um, I'll give you guys a, a quick glance around. Everybody in here is getting chemotherapy, as you know, how strongly I feel about not getting a port. So, yeah, you know, I, this is my office. But here's mine. Here's my pole. There, you know, I stay here, right here at the window, by the trees, by life. I've got me some fresh fruit and some water. And, uh, you know, this is, turn this back around. So, yeah, um, I found my lucky bracelet. I had found this bracelet in San Diego. And just the energy off of the bracelet. I loved it. And I didn't know where it was. And um, when we came back from uh, Jack's birthday trip, we seen that we was having a little ant problem. So I had pulled everything out. And lo and behold, found my bracelet. So I'm very happy about that. Um... What else is going on? Again, um, obviously, I'm still here. Um, I'm not. Actually, my breast is, um, it's then went down a significant amount. You know what I'm saying? It's softer now. Not as soft as this one, but it's still soft. Um, I mean, for a minute, it was like... <sighs> I wanted to take a knife to my own breast and just cut it open because it just felt like it was about to explode. Um, but I didn't do that. And so um, this is going to be my second caserian treatment. Um, and as you know, I've went through three different types of treatment. And um, the only reason why... Um, I am saying that about me going through three different types of treatments because, you know, too many times doctors will uh, diagnose us with something and they'll give us a medical treatment plan. And that may or may not be conducive with our makeup, with, you know, with our genetics. Um, and so I think I said in one of my other vlogs that... Um, you know, I watched my grandmother at, at the age of 19, you know, be diagnosed with cancer in November. And by Christmas, she was she was dead. She was gone. So, you know, that was, even though I didn't know how important of a role experiencing that would be for me when I um, was diagnosed with BC, you know, obviously that came right to my memory, like, Okay, I'm not going to go head on with this chemotherapy um, because I've seen what it did to my grandmother in 30 days. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, my doctor has been very, um, and again, I always tell, I'm always advocating, you know, make sure you have trusted the, the, the people that are working on you, working for you, working with you. Make sure you trust them and make sure that they know you. In other words, um, you know, 
I let it be known right off the rip with my doctors, all of my doctors. I am a mother. I am a grandmother. I am now I've got another hat, another title um, that I'm going to just keep on the wraps right now. But, you know, I want to live. I want to live until I die. In other words, I don't want to die before I die. In other words, I don't want to go to chemotherapy and be down for two weeks, three weeks, and then I'm back at chemotherapy. No, I want to live until I die. And if it means that I have to come in here and get an hour of treatment, um, I get that. And then I will go on about my day. That's uh, the dream. My girlfriends, they know I always go on about your day. All right? Um, when you're dealing with some bull crap or somebody call you with some bull crap or you just don't want to be bothered, tell them, go on about your day. So, yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do after I get my treatment today. It's going about my day. I do have a busy day today. That's why I got my office set up. I got some shipments I got to get out. Um, I got some shipments I, I got to get out. I got to get to my girlfriend's house uh, and take her something. Um, that I, I told her that I would drop something off to her today. Oh. Uh, I really need to get, um, I've got to get, I really need to get the Home Depot um, because um, I really wanted to have my kitchen done before the holidays, but it's looking like it's, I'm not going to put that in the atmosphere. But anyway, this is a, this is a BC journal. Y'all, if you've been with me, you know that I don't like saying the word. Um, I just don't like the way it feels coming off the tongue, okay? But this is the BC Journal. But this is what this is. And I thought about this this morning in the bathroom. Because I do my best thinking, praying, reviewing, revisiting in the shower, okay? And when I got out, well, no, actually before I went in, I was talking to my girlfriend, one of my oldest friends. We've been friends our whole entire life. Her dad and my dad was best friends. My mom and her mom was best friends. And we just grew up to be best friends. And so um, 50 years of friendship, you know, from the cradle to the grave. But anyway, I was talking to her this morning. And I had my robe on. I didn't have any clothes on under it. And I showed her. Throughout this process, she got a chance to see it when she was here for my birthday. When I, it was so big and I wanted to cut it open, I had took some pictures and sent it to her. Um, you know, so I keep her abreast all the time. So I showed her, you know, my breast uh, prior to me getting in the shower. And she was like, oh, yeah, you know, that looks a lot better. And she could tell that it was, you know, not as hard and all of that and so um i went on and got you know i hung up from her and i went on and got in the shower and then when i got out you know um uh, because over the weekend let me just pause right there over the weekend i did um experience i didn't actually go to the funeral however my spirit was there my children they went um so somebody close to me died and their funeral was this weekend. And, um, you know, one thing about funerals, uh, not the, um, you know, the getting ready for the funeral, the, um, the, the obituary, the eulogy, the casket. The one thing about death is that it's final. Finite. It's over for that. And so when I got out the shower, I um, replayed, replayed me standing in the mirror showing Shell because we were doing a duo. So it was like a FaceTime call. She could see me. 
And I, and as I got out the shower, I was just thinking to myself, you know, we are not promised. The next 60 seconds, it's just not promised to us, let alone the next day, the next week, the next month. So I was thinking, like, damn, you know, I just told Shell and show her, you know, I hope it don't come a time, you know, anytime soon to where she would, she would say, you know, dang, you know, TJ was just showing me, you know, um, her breast was doing good. She was in good spirits, but that's the thing. That's the purpose for this journal, guys. I'm going to stay in good spirits until, okay? That is what's keeping me, all right? That is what's keeping me. That is what's keeping my motivation, my ambition, my inspiration. Is the fact that um, the Lord didn't put, when, when I was born, he didn't, he didn't put uh, nowhere, okay, I'm going to let her live until she's, 94 years old. I'm going to let her live until she... No. He never promised nobody that. Okay? Me, my mother, my father. So I'm just so very grateful to have lived 50 fabulous years this far. And this is just a little bump in the road. Like, that's the way it is. Because in the meantime, in the between time, if he wants me to come home... If he wants me to, you know, deceased, be deceased, he don't have to use this method. BC, people dying from coronavirus, people dying from, um, they didn't even tell you, a million people died from diarrhea. You know what I mean? So, people die from car accidents, people die from plane accidents, people die from freak accidents. Okay, so the purpose is, here's my favorite part right here. The ladies come up with the basket of treats. It's my favorite part of um, the chemotherapy, um, other than the warm blankets, okay? Don't forget the warm blankets, but here's her with this basket. I love it. And she is also the lady who... Uh, takes my blood. When, or no, she doesn't take my blood, but she gives me my white cell booster, um, my white cell booster shots. So she's got a duo, a duo. Uh, don't forget me. Okay. <laughs> he wants some shots. Oh, he wants an insure. That's what that is. So I actually, like I told you guys, I'm doing my very best to eat healthy, okay? I'm not a fan of um, these berries, but I love apples and I love grapes. So I'm prepared myself that, and I'm eat that, and I'm going to put, I am going to put, um, I got my spoon already, I already put some lemon on it, so I'll snack on that. I want you guys to see this, this, uh, there you are, okay, let me see, let me look, you know, aren't you the lady who gave me my shots? Yes. Yes, I'm like, I know her, um, I'm gonna go for this. Okay, let me uh, get you something to drink. I got some water right there. Okay, good deal. Thank you. So yeah, then I actually ate this morning. I did because I cooked some uh, stuffed chicken breast yesterday with spinach and feta and olives and sun-dried tomatoes, and I made some fresh green beans and red potatoes and cornbread. So that was absolutely delicious. So I woke up this morning and made this poquito, poquito. I made poquito, um, just a small plate. So um, I'm really not hungry. But uh, 
that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm not going to keep you too long. Um, I already got my thing in my arm, so the next thing that's going to come is the medicine. And um, I'll probably take it out. I'll probably take a nap, you know. I'll probably lay back and take a nap and look out at the trees. Look out at the trees. and So have a great day today, okay? Have a great day today. Um, well, there's my nurse right there. Well, you might as well hang on in there with me. Steroid and the anti-nausea medication. I just need your name and date of birth. Okay. All right. I'll deal with you later.